so I'm here today to share for you a haul video. Um, it's a haul that I have been like collecting for a while now. So let's go ahead and get it started. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is something that I use daily. Um, it is the micellar, micellar water from Garnier. I love this stuff. It gets off all my makeup really, really quickly. Um, so I like using this everywhere on my face other than my eyes. I have another cleanser for my eyes because I feel like this irritates my eyes a little. Um, and I, I love the way it takes off the makeup on the rest of my face, but I just don't like having it near my eyes. Maybe that's because, you know, I think my eyes are just sensitive now in my old age. So let's talk about two items that I was recently sent from Maybelline. Um, this is the Great Lash in Royal Blue. This is their mascara. This is like their number one selling mascara. Um, they do color sometimes other than brown and black. I love blue mascara. I love the way it pops against my brown eyes. So I was really, really excited to see this in the mail. This item I'm going to show you is something that I've been loving and something that I was previously sent, but this is the third one that I have repurchased since I was sent the first one. Um, so this is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. So this lotion, you basically will take your shower, you'll get out of the shower, you'll still be a little wet, you just kind of pat it off. You don't have to uh, rinse this off. I know some of them that you have to rinse off. This is not one of the rinse off ones. This is a leave on after shower. This is a leave on shower lotion. So, so anything that I can get that will leave me moisturized and feeling like really buttery, that is what I want in my life. And that's why I keep re-upping on this and getting more and more of these. A lotion that's in the middle ground. It's not a it's not an in shower lotion, but it's not an out. It's not a completely dried off lotion. It's like an in the middle lotion. That's what this is. Juvia's place. And I picked up two blush palettes. So I picked the light, the light to medium blush palette and the medium to dark blush palette as well. So this is the medium to dark blush palette. And here's the dark one. yes oh my gosh y'all i cannot wait real light swatch video of these so i'm not gonna do a swatch video right now i just want to go ahead and show you some of my haulage so you know so the next items are two items that i picked up recently from mac um and i picked up these two items i have next to nothing face color um fluid illuminator and this is definitely next to nothing on your face um it's basically something that you would use if you have like if you have really good skin and you just want like a little touch of like a little sheer coverage that's really good for this so the thing about this product is you can build it up a little it's not like building up to like something like medium coverage or anything like that it's like a really it's building it's building it up from sheer to like a light coverage so what i do to actually get that kind of look on my face is i will apply uh the laura mercier translucent powder all over my face i'll pat that all over and then i will apply this and that gives me like the perfect kind of like, you know, my skin but better kind of look. that I actually picked up from them is from Justine Scott. I have never heard this girl's music, but I love her style and I love her hair. So that's why I picked up this product. That is a good, uh, a good coloring right there of this product. So this is this highlighter right here. That is really intense and it is gorgeous and it is purple. It's like all of my favorite things. I love highlighters as y'all can see from this right here. And I love the purple is like one of my favorite colors. So this is like something right up my alley. This is the neutral palette from Graftobian. Um, and this is what this palette looks like. And I also have, I also have the warm palette and I use it a lot on my clients. And I actually use this product today. I use the darker, I use this dark shade right here for my contour. And I use a mixture of these three, uh, these three colors in this row right here for my under eye my under eye my brow highlight um and also like my lid color that i recently picked up from amazon i actually have about five to six pairs maybe of these shades from amazon that i purchased from amazon but i picked out the two that i kind of like the most to share with you actually so the first one is this one right here um i love these because it has like a really different kind of it's not like your average aviator shape it's like a, a different shape it's like a weird, uh, it's like a more defined like aviator shape and it also has an outline of the color and I really, really like that one. And this only ran me for about like $5. At first, I was like, these look crazy. Why, why am I wearing this? But, you know, I think they look cool. Let me go ahead and put these on. And those only were like 
seven dollars i think on amazon the, the instagram boutiques and you find these shades these shades run about like twenty dollars and everybody is selling them and everybody's like oh i'm so innovative and i'm so different blah 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 buy mine but you can go on amazon and get the same thing for super duper cheap um so the first one that i want to focus on is this highlighter and like some lower light, lower light. And y'all see how intense that is? They're scraping off an actual, a layer of the actual product. I was really impressed with this highlighter. I think it's really, really pretty and it's super cheap. So you can't go wrong with that. Um, the next item that I want to focus on from that elf bundle that I was sent is the blush palette. That's more, that's more like it right there. Um, this blush, that's basically the colors. That's the real colors right there. Because I use this on clients. I use this on myself all the time. I like mixing a lot of the shades together. So another thing that was actually in the bundle that they sent me that I did not like as much is this contour palette. So it says it's for deep dark skin tones, but that's probably like a true color. True color right there. This contour shade is not that dark. It's not that dark at all. Shade, the highlight shade is, is actually kind of pretty. So here's the highlight, the highlight from the contour palette right there. Well, two foundations. I will set the nude foundation and I was sent the espresso foundation from them. So you can see espresso almost, it almost did it. It almost did it for me, Whenever but I put it on my face. It did not work for me, but I wish it worked for me because this would be a, like a nice alternative to buying like my expensive, like expensive $40, $50 foundation. So I also have um, the contour stick from e.l.f. So I really, really like this one because it actually does show up on my skin really, really well. And it's a twist top so you can twist it up if you need some more you can see what that one looks like on me um uh, i said i wasn't gonna do swatches and stuff because i feel like you know i'm gonna have other videos where i feature swatches but i mean it's deep it's the dark um uh, it's a dark contour but it's not like super dark so you know if you're like a little if you're darker than me like way darker than me this is not gonna work for you it, it may actually be a concealer for so, yeah. you so i picked up this color from anastasia your belly heels and this is the color tulip so this is a really really gorgeous gorgeous color um so i wore that color a couple of times in videos and i got tons of compliments every time i wore it um so i wanted to feature it in this video in this haul video um too so y'all can actually know what it is in case you see it again and in case i forget anyway, guys, that's basically all for right now and i'll be back with another haul video a condensed i'll be back with a clothing a try on a clothing try on video well basically like a clothing lookbook it's gonna be like a scaled down lookbook because i ain't got the budget for some people's lookbooks you know they got photographers they got videographers they got all kinds of stuff going on i ain't got that i got my good old tripods and i had some cameras and i got a backyard so <laughs> but anyway guys that's basically all for now and i will talk to you later thanks for watching